Hey, it's Dave Wyman from Bob, Dave, and more time for Football 101. Seahawks get a big identical score uh, with the Philadelphia Eagles from the first time they played them. Beat them 17 to 9. It was kind of interesting going through the game and watching it as it happened with a 40-year-old quarterback and a lot of backups. You thought, man, the, the Seahawks should be doing a little bit better here. But <laughs> at the end of the day, I mean, you got to look at what they did in the first half. They did exactly what you should do to a team that has backups and a, and a 40 year old quarterback. Held them to 87 yards and three points in the first half. And I thought that was key because you get off to a big start like that. Uh, and then, you know, Russell did his, his magic. Ended up total 282 and nine points. So nobody averages nine, giving up nine points a game in the NFL. You know, the best teams, it's like 13, 14 is really good. So, you know, no scores, and then anytime you're under 300 yards is great. I thought what they did on third down was particularly good. The Seahawks offense completing 53% of their first downs. So just as a perspective, Kansas City is number one in the NFL, and they convert at 48% rate. Uh, New England on the defensive side, uh, the Seahawks held Philly to just 27% on third down, and New England just an astronomical number, 24%. But you know, usually it's around if you're doing anything under 35 is really good. So Seahawks defense and offense getting it done. I'm here today today to defend Jadavian Clowney, and uh, this is kind of this has really bothered me uh, recently. The, the hits and the slow motion replay on, on J Jadavian Clowney. And uh, a guy who is playing for his teammates, he's playing with a sports hernia. Uh, he is not a bad guy. He does a lot of stuff in the community and, and helps people out. He's happy to be here. He's a great teammate. People are treating him like he's a criminal. When he made just simply a football play, he made a tackle. And I guarantee you, every person, if every person were to play football, put a helmet on, run around, do what you're supposed to do on a football field, you would end up hitting somebody else in the head with your head. It's only eight to 10 inches away from your shoulder. I just measured last night. Okay, so wherever he was trying to hit Carson Wentz with his shoulder and his head somehow got, every person would have one of those penalties. Trust me. And I played and you know, I, there was lots of times where I had to go back and look. And I'm not saying because I played, I have all the answers, but there was lots of times I had to go back and look to see what I did. It, things happen so fast on the field. So really bothered me that, um, but here, here's what I would say to Philadelphia. First of all, don't block Jadavian Clowney with a tight end. Are you kidding me? So what happened on this play is they double here. They, they get a, a double team right here. And here, uh, the running back comes through and, and gets a little bit of a block here. They have a tight end, Dallas Goddard, trying to block Jadavian Clowney. So he beats inside, beats him inside quite easily. And then, you know, Carson Wentz starts scrambling, so he folds back and makes the tackle right here. And nobody thought anything about it at the time. You didn't see any of the slow motion instant replay. It always looks terrible on a slow motion instant replay. But here, here's what I thought was weird. Now, I've had concussions, and usually, like, right away, the effect hits me. And it's like I, don't, I can't read the signals coming in from the sidelines. Uh, where are we? I mean, all kinds of different reactions. So I'm not a doctor, but I know for, through my experience, I thought it was really strange that after this supposedly brutal hit, Carson Wentz had five plays, five plays where he called the huddle five different times. Okay, he carried out two different play fakes, which you would think, yeah, maybe you would forget that or you, you wouldn't have the wherewithal to do that. He fielded a low snap, completed a slant on one play. This is the amazing thing. Audibled at the line of scrimmage to a different play and changed the blocking pr protection. You could see him down there talking to, to his offensive line. Maybe this is the more amazing one. He went through a five receiver pattern progression. They, saw, they showed it on, on the replay of the, on TV. He checked, he went through every single progression and looked at every receiver that was out in the pattern. And then on that play, he ended up taking a hit from Ansa. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't look like a big hit, but maybe that was it. And then he completed a check down. So, you know, everybody's acting like, you know, he, this was this horrible play where he, you know, assaulted Carson Wentz on the field. Well, he went out and did all of these things afterwards. It wasn't until later that we went back and looked and said, yeah, this is probably where it happened, but maybe not. Maybe it was somewhere else. It's just, it just strange to me if that was that brutal of a hit that all of this would have happened. So, 
I, I just, you know, Jadavian Clowney couldn't be a better teammate. He's playing for his brothers, he says, and, you know, he had, uh, he had the sports hernia. He's been dealing with that all week. And so, you know, and again, I mean, look, I'm not trying to put it in the face of Philadelphia. I think they're a great team. Doug Peterson, I don't know why they would try to block him with a tight end, but that's what happened on that play. But anyway, uh, hopefully Seahawks will be able to go into Green Bay and, and get a victory, and I won't be so fired up about everybody getting down on Judavian Clowney. Hopefully he goes there and has a great game.